I think now's a good time to tell you all that I teach high school. That's my day job uh, in Seattle. Don't worry about it. Your kids are fine. Uh, <laughs> Teach high school right out of college at 22 years old, right out of a conservative Christian college. They're like, we're going to have you teach sex ed. Hmm. Because apparently their philosophy was, those who can't. <laughs> Are you going to have the lunch lady teach health class too? What's going on here? I teach world history now. I teach world history, which is fun. I like to teach world history. It allows me to teach the kids about things they've never thought of before. Maybe you've never thought of this. They didn't call it World War I at the time. That would have been super pessimistic. <laughs> well, there's going to be a bunch of these things, so... Uh, we'll just call this one one and we'll see what happens, right? <laughs> what they called it at the time, anybody know? The Great War, that's right. And H.G. Wells, he referred to it as the war to end all wars, which didn't work out very well, right? <laughs> Calling it World War I at the time would be like if I would have walked up to you and been like, here, I'd like to introduce you to wife number one. <laughs> Gonna be a bunch of these things, so... Uh... I'm not an idiot, I just introduced her as the great wife, to be safe, right? <laughs> and now the wife to end all wives, because I'm... <laughs> Not doing it again. <laughs> Teaching history also allows me to teach about race issues, which I think is very important in our country right now. I also recognize not really the right guy to do it, right? Like, <laughs> super bald, super white dude? Mm -mm. I'm one neck tattoo away from a hate crime right now. I don't think. <laughs> I mean, this guy teaching your history class? No way. <laughs> It's always the wrong people that get on their high horse about race, though. It's always like suburban white soccer moms are like, mm, I just don't see color. Oh, that's because you live in Utah. <laughs> no, I don't see color. I don't even see it. Yes, you do, and it's fine to notice color. Just don't judge people based on what you see. That's all. No, 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 no. I'm colorblind. Mm, no, you're not. Plus, that's not going to work, because you know what you still see when you're colorblind? Black and white, right? <laughs> Being colorblind just makes Asians gray, but... Uh, <laughs> you can still tell. <laughs> you guys did well with that one. That was fun. Yeah, yeah. Subscribe to Dry Bar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy.